Narcolepsy patients usually have four major components in their illnesses. They're usually tired. Whatever they do, they're tired. I see patients now more and more every day. The patient comes in and says, I'm tired. I drink a lot of coffee. I take a nap. Sometimes I sleep for a day or two. I'm still tired. The other, the other symptoms that narcolepsy patients have is when they're falling asleep or they're waking out of their sleep, they feel that their body is paralyzed. They may not be able to move. And during this period, there is a dreaming comes into their sleep. So they may actually seeing and hearing things and the dreaming comes on while they are awake. The REM part of the sleep, the, the, the dreaming part of the sleep, intrudes and comes into wakefulness. And by doing that, it really disrupts the, somebody's daytime function. Patients with uh, an, a narcolepsy, they also have an interesting phenomena that is very hard to even get from them, and it's called cataplexy or loss of muscle tone. And that can be a, a buckling of the knees or a little weakness here and there, and patients have learned over time to adapt and adjust to this. The narcolepsy patients have uncontrolled sleep. They can fall asleep while they are driving. They can fall asleep while they are eating. They can fall asleep while they are having a conversation. And this can be a major, major disabling factor for the patients because it can cause all kinds of accidents. It can affect their uh, quality of life. And now with the advances being made in narcolepsy, we can diagnose them and treat them. I think the key thing here is the narcolepsy is a common disorder, is underdiagnosed because patients adapt to it. The medical providers, healthcare providers are not fully aware of this entity. I see patients who have been suffering from this disorder for 50 years. Imagine you have an illness which is treatable and you have it for 50 years. And we, I see it in almost our practice routinely, almost now it's becoming weekly, that people come in and they have a variety of symptoms and which is wake, it's not clear, at the same time, if somebody takes a good history and pays attention to the patient, they may find the diagnosis of narcolepsy. That's why people need to go see a sleep specialist. 